Hey everyone, welcome to TubeTape.com's Chroma Key Tutorial for Sony Vegas Pro 11. Today we're going to show you the basics of removing green screen in Sony Vegas and show you a few tricks to make your composition look a little more believable. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is import our footage and background plate into Vegas. Make sure the Project Media tab is selected. Then click on Import Media. I'm going to go uh, into my Clips folder and grab this shot here and click Open. Then I'll go back to Import, go to my Graphics folder and grab this picture here of a street in San Francisco. Next step is to drag our green screen footage into the source window. So right below the video you can see a little blinking cursor. Uh, you can drag this cursor to the point you want the video to start and hit, I key, hit the I key. You can see that marks the end point. Then just grab the cursor again and drag it to where you want it to end and hit the O key and there's the out point. Now just hit the A key and it will place your video on the timeline. Now we need to remove the green screen. So click on the Video Effects tab. Select Chroma Keyer and drag that to your video on the timeline. The Video Event Effects window will pop up allowing you to adjust the keyer. In the Preset drop-down box, select Green Screen. As you can see, it doesn't do very much, but if we make some adjustments, we should get a very nice key. I'm going to select Show Mask Only, and this will give us a grayscale representation of what area of the video is keyed out. The dark areas represent what's being removed and the white areas uh, represents what stays visible. So we just need to adjust the low threshold until the green screen area is black and then adjust the high threshold until our actors are as solid white as we can get them. Just play around with these two sliders to, to get it the best you can. Now we can add a 0 0.01 under the blur amount. This will smooth the edges of our actors just a little bit. Um, uncheck show mask only and then close the window. Now let's drag our background plate down to the timeline uh, and drop it below the video layer. As you can see the chroma key worked nicely but we still have the lights in the shot. So what we can do is draw a mask around our two actors to isolate them. On the video clip, click on this little icon that says Event, Pan and Crop. That'll open up the Video Event Effects window again. Down here in the left hand corner, uh, make sure the Mask box is checked and then select the Anchor Creation tool. Now we can draw a mask around our two actors. You can see here all we have is our actors left now, which uh, looks pretty good. So the key looks good now, but these two guys uh, don't really look like they're standing on a street in San Francisco. Uh, we need to move them and adjust their size so they look like they're actually there. Over here in the timeline, we want to click on this icon that says Track Motion. This opens up the Track Motion window. By clicking anywhere in this box, we can move the clip around. So let's place them right about here. Standing next to this car, uh, they look a bit too small, so we can increase their size. Under Position, click in the Width box, and I'm going to change it to 2450. And we can move it over here a little bit, and that looks nice. It's getting there, but uh, there are a few more things we can do to make it look a little better. Uh, first, I want to add a little contrast to our actors. To do that, make sure the Video Effects tab is selected and then um, drag Color Curves down to the clip. That opens up the Color Curves window. I'm going to make a standard S-curve, which adds a nice contrast to the image. And I'm going to drag this part down a little bit to darken the shadows, and then this part up a little bit to brighten up the highlights. You can see the difference when I turn it off and on. That looks a lot better, so uh, we can close the window now. Next I want to put a little shadow underneath our actors, uh, which will help sell the illusion that they're really standing there on the street. 
uh, right click on the timeline and then select insert video track. Now drag the, the new track to right above the background layer here and go back to the project media tab and drag the city image down to the new track. Click on the event pan crop tool and uh, we're just going to draw a mask in the area that they're standing. Okay, and um, let's change the feather type to both and add about an 11% feather to it. Close the window, go to the video effects tab and drag the color curves to that layer. And uh, we can darken that up a little bit. There we go. And now it looks like they're casting a shadow on the ground. So the last thing I want to do is give the entire scene an overall look. That will uh, help blend the two images together a little better. I'm going to right click in the blank area here in the timeline and click insert video track. I think I want to turn this into an old looking film so make sure the video effects tabs is selected again and drag film effects down to the uh, blank area on your new video track. Now, as you can see, Film Effects has been added, but it hasn't changed our video at all. So what we need to do is in the Effects chain, we need to drag Composite to the front of the chain. And now it's changed both our video and background plate to this old style, uh, sepia colored looking film with dust and scratches. I'm just going to make a few little adjustments to it. Um, feel free to play around with the settings to get the look you want. You can always reset it to the default settings. And I think that looks pretty good. So that's the conclusion of our Sony Vegas Pro green screen tutorial. Uh, I hope that helps you understand uh, how to work with green screen in Vegas now. Keying out the green screen is really the easiest part. Fooling your audience into thinking it was shot on location is really the challenging part, so remember to take your time adjusting and color correcting your shots. Thanks for watching, and remember to check out tubetape.com for more tutorials. See you next time.